Hey, you guys. This is Mary Bath. Hope everybody's well. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please come back and check out some of my other videos. Leave a comment down below. Any prayer requests, please. I would like to be able to pray for you. Um, you guys, I got some encouraging words today. Um, a few days ago, it's taken me a little a few days to actually do this video. Uh, I did a lot of cleaning, deep cleaning of a house, and it wore my body out. Um, my body doesn't have is not the healthiest, you know, at all. So um, it took me a while to do the deep cleaning that I was doing, but I'm now back in order. I'm not hurting as bad as I was. But um, during one of my breaks when I was doing this cleaning, a friend of mine had come over and helped me do some of the cleaning as well. And um, I had looked up in the sky and I saw an eye, a cloud shape of an eye. And I said, well, that's interesting. I said, I said that's an, that looks like an eye in the sky. And then she went and she says, that's funny. She says, I had just gone to the dentist and I was looking up on the ceiling. She says, and I ended up having to take a picture of this because of what I saw. But the watermark that was left from where there was a leak at the dentist's office made an eye. And in order for you to see it, you had to be laying down in the dentist chair. So she was looking up. So that was like another eye in the sky. Short, not even a few seconds later, saw another cloud shape, the side, the shape of an eye. Ended up seeing several clouds, about four or five of them, of eyes in the sky. And then all of a sudden, the thought came to my mind, look up, eye in the sky. Music. I'm like, okay. I'm sitting here thinking. I looked at my friend and said, is there a song with the with eye in the sky in it? I said, I've heard a song I know a long time ago. But I'm not sure. Come to find out. She said, Yeah, I know a song that has a has those words to it. But I can't remember the name of the of the song. Come to find out, the song was Eye in the Sky, literally. Now, I need to explain this. God talks to me in a lot of different ways. He talks to me with numbers, and he talks to me in nature. Okay? No, it is not witchcraft. I'm just telling y'all right now. Okay, this really is a message that I received from, and, you know, it's taken me several days to pray about it. I talked to a couple of sisters about it. And I said, do you think I really need to share this? And yeah, they're like, yeah, you need to share this. So I looked up the words for the song, Eye in the Sky. And it was, don't think sorry's easily said. Don't try turning tables instead. You've taken lots of chances before, but I ain't going to give up anymore. Don't ask me. That's how it goes. Because part of me knows what you're thinking. Don't say words you're going to regret. Don't let the fire get to your head. Or rush to your head, I'm sorry. I've heard this accusation before. And I ain't going to take any more. Believe me, the sun is in your eyes. Made some of the lies worth believing. I am the eye in the sky looking at you. I can read your mind. I'm maker of rules, dealing with fools. I can cheat you blind. And I don't need to see any more to know that I can read your mind. It's repeated a couple of times because it's part of the chorus. Then it says, don't leave false illusions behind. Don't cry because 
I ain't changing my mind. So find another fool like before because I ain't going to live any more believing some of the lies while all the signs are deceiving. And then it repeats the chorus over and over again. I am an eye. I am the eye in the sky. Now, after I, I was listening to that song and I just teared. The reason why is I teared is because Jesus literally is omnipresent. He is everywhere. He knows everything. He it's going on. He knows every thought in your head. He knows every hair on your head. He knows what your heart is feeling. He knows everything. He is literally the eye in the sky and he sees all. You guys, I know the church is going through an awful lot right now. I'm there with you. It's not easy. But I'm taking this message that I had received in a very crazy way. And, you know, I've seen, I've done some of my other videos, you know, in the past have been kind of crazy. Like the very first encouragement video I ever did was on spiders. And I'm terrified of spiders. I'm not anymore. Matter of fact, I love riding spiders. I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. And that's what the original video was about. So I have history of, you know, being talked to through nature. But this time, I mean, he knows everything. He sees everything. He knows what's going on down here on earth. He knows about all the death and destruction. He knows what's happening to our babies and what people are doing to our children. My child will never be in a public school ever. I will homeschool him. He knows everything that's going on. But he also keeps his promises. Yes, I am a pre-tribulation believing Christian. You cannot change my mind. You will not change my mind. The Bible says it. And I believe what the Bible says. Jesus is not going to let his church deal with all of this mess that's coming. He knows what's going on. He's alert. Just call on him. Have a relationship with him. Love him. Trust him with every part of you. He will protect you. He will guide you. He will do what he needs to do to take care of you. You guys, Jesus is coming back really, really soon. A lot sooner than you think. This part is for the non-believers. Next seven years are going to be really, really bad the worst that this country will and this world will ever, ever see. Yesterday, they announced that troops were hitting the ground in U.S. and Canada. Later on, I heard even in North Korea. Got this so-called st stuff with NATO that they're doing, this special training, you know, thing that they're doing. I can't think of the name of it right now. But it's a lot of people. Right at the Russian border. You guys, World War III can happen any second now. Literally. I'm not scared. Believers should not be scared at all. 
because Jesus holds his promises. He said he's coming back to get us, and I believe that. I trust that. So I'm not worried about what's about to happen in this world. For you non-believers, I know you're scared to death. Got the digital dollar getting ready to start. The economy has got to crash in order for that to happen. So you know that's about to happen. Anytime now. There's so much going on that people are so completely oblivious to and have no clue. Because y'all just don't see. I don't want to scare you. I really don't. And I'm trying not to. I'm just trying to warn you. Jesus is coming back really soon. And you really need to think about where you are spiritually. And you need to figure out, do you want to be in heaven or do you want to be in hell? I said, because that's, it's, it's that simple. It really is. It's that simple. Do you trust in Jesus? Or do you trust in Satan? Satan don't love you. Jesus loves you. Satan doesn't. Satan hates humans. Soon, and they, and they, they've they upped the UFO stuff. Guys, those are not aliens. They're demons. And when the rapture happens, we're not in some spaceship. We will be in heaven. And it will literally be hell down here on earth. For non-believers, this is the only heaven you're going to know. Like I said, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to put fear in anyone. I'm warning you. It's getting real. And it's about to get even more real. Food shortages. Famines. Pestilence. You're, the earthquakes are getting more. Volcanic eruptions even. Fires all over the place. Wildfires. Food prepared plants being destroyed. Train crashes. Deep state saying we got to kill cows just for farting. I can't even believe I said that online, on, you know, on video. If that's the case, then everybody needs to be dead then because, you know, we all fart. It's just part of nature. It's the way we were created. And then they've got these embryos, these synthetic beings that they are producing. Where you don't need a woman and a man to have a child. The world is playing God. But there is only one God. And he's sending his son to come get his people. Jesus is about to rapture us out of this world. And I'm ready to go home. Nothing here I want. I'm ready to go home. Where my burdens are completely gone and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Jesus has kept me safe from a very dangerous pregnancy. He's kept me alive several times more than I can can even think of from all the abusive situations that I've been in he's kept my children safe keeps my husband safe You just got to trust him. And it doesn't take much faith. Not even a mustard seed of faith. 
Actually, it is a mustard seed of faith, but people don't realize just how small that mustard seed is. So it doesn't take much at all. Please, you guys, short time is so short, we're not guaranteed our next breath at all. I love you. I don't want to see you get left behind. And I certainly don't want to see you end up in hell. Because that would be a place I would not wish my worst enemy to. Thirsting for the rest of eternity around a lake of fire? No. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. No matter how mean and cool they were. So please, you guys, call on Jesus today. Ask him to come in your heart. Accept the fact that he died on that cross and rose three days later so he could save us from all of our sin. And he's the only sacrifice that can do that and did do that. I love you guys. I really do. And please think about what I'm telling you. Time is so short. We're not even, like I said, guaranteed our next breath. But I know Jesus is coming to get us. And I know that he's coming soon. Very soon. A lot sooner than we even realize. I love you. Please leave your prayer requests in the comments section below. If I don't see or hear from you ever again, then I'll see you in the clouds because I'll be in heaven with Jesus right next to me. Although I may be riding that horse because I'm still, when I saw me myself up in heaven riding that Clydesdale horse, I'm still, uh, oh, just so wonderful. Can't stop thinking about that. It was such a beautiful gift. And on Mother's Day, of all days, <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.